Hey guys, Omni here. So earlier today, I finally checked out Willy's Wonderland starring Nicolas Cage and Doug Dibbidome, as well as a interesting cast of people who are just there to do the dumb things that people do in horror movies. This movie was special, to say the least. Not good, but it was entertaining. This, uh, you know, we reacted to the trailer here not too long ago when we got our first trailer for this. You know, had a lot of people, like, requesting that I check out this trailer. Um, you know, a lot of people are going to compare it to Five Nights at Freddy's, of course, because the animatronic party creatures and whatnot that that kind of popularized, especially within the horror genre. But a lot of people who maybe grew up in certain areas, of course, recognize these sort of things just frequently as a thing of joy and you know i have a lot of fond memories of some places here locally that have been pretty interesting i go into a little bit of that in the reaction that i did for the trailer as far as the particular one around here that i've been to uh back in the day when it wasn't decrepit and terrifying to visit now oh my god mm. they have not been keeping up any of those things it is terrifying the state that they're in uh, I believe it's actually closed now. At least the animatronics have not been functional for some time. But this movie is really interesting. Nicolas Cage is being Nicolas Cage, and I, I'm not going to spoil anything about it, but he's let's just say he's a man of very few words in this movie. Um, a lot of his acting is just pure reaction. And uh, it's it's really interesting to see how this goes off. It is ridiculous. None of this makes any sense. It is bonkers. It's not trying to be anything grounded or serious whatsoever. Um, the general acting across the board is pretty garbage from everybody. I don't think there's a good performance in here, except from Doug Demodome and his uh, his mechanic lackey as you'll kind of be introduced to them in the earlier bits of the movie. And of course, Nicolas Cage is just, I don't know. It's just him being Nick Cage, being weird in a movie and just beating the shit out of animatronic creatures that are just trying to kill him. It's a weird setup. It's a weird, it's got such a weird tone. It's got such a weird ending. Everything about this movie is just weird. This is, I don't even know if you would call this a B movie. This might be a C movie, but it it was definitely an experience. It was, I don't, unless you were really interested in like really zany, weird, bad movies um, that aren't necessarily meant to be good, but just kind of like an experience. I don't know if you're you want to spend the twenty dollars to watch this right now, and honestly, I mm, kind of wish I <laughs> didn't actually. Um, but I don't regret seeing it. It just was not what I expected at all. It definitely took every turn that it could to try to like throw me off. I I know it's hard to like describe stuff like this without going into any spoilers, but like, let's just say this: it it's a strange horribly unserious movie that is actually shot just as bad. <laughs> the The favorite shot in this is to just be close up in our actors and actresses' faces at all times, skew things as much as possible, shaky cam, and just, let's just make this as bizarre. Let's make people act as unnaturally as possible. And there's not even good kills in it. There are zero good kills in this. Like, because I know that's a big thing for horror people, and myself included, is for some satisfying brutality. Because that's what we go in here for, to get that primal nature out of our body, to get that fear instilled into our blood, you know, have that kind of reaction, like in the same vein that people get on roller coasters. You know, you have that kind of primal need that we have as animals to experience that in a world where we aren't really in that kind of environment anymore. So it's like get, getting that little bit of a release and there's none of that in this either. It's like, it's just weird. So weird. And then the song that is in the trailer, it's like the only song in the movie 
and it gets burned into your brain until the end of the movie, and then it lingers even after the fact. And you might even crave, like, a soda that doesn't even exist. At least as far as I know, it doesn't exist. Maybe it does. Maybe it was some weird product placement in there. But there's a strange focus on a particular soda in this. It's... <laughs> I don't know what to say about this. It's weird. I don't think it's worth the $20 to watch it. Unless you are really committed to Nick Cage. If you're really committed to just really terribly made and terribly like set up films that are horribly acted and just have Nick Cage doing weird shit in it. You'll get exactly what you want. But yeah, take all of that as you will. Anyway, I'd love to know your thoughts. If you've seen this film, sound off the comments, let me know what you thought. And I will carry on the conversation after the video guys. If you like this for whatever it is, <laughs> support the channel by liking, commenting, subscribing, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care, everybody.